Guys, welcome to Unit 3, English for Telephone. Unit 3 is Reasons for Calling. We're going to start with Exercise A. Exercise A, we match the verbs in A with the nouns in B. They are all reasons for calling. Reasons for calling. So, here we have the verbs in A. And the nouns, column B. For example, verb A, apply for, and the noun, a job. Apply for a job. Now, let's try B. Arrange. Arrange a catalog. Arrange an invoice. Arrange a complaint. Arrange a course. Arrange an order. Which one do you think is the correct answer? Arrange a course. Excellent. So go ahead and put in your notebook letters A through F. And we're going to match the verbs with the nouns. Verb C. Make, make, make what? Make a complaint, make a complaint. Make a complaint, apply for a job, arrange a course, Now let's go to letter D. Letter D. Place. Place. Place a catalog, place an invoice, or place an order. Place an order. Place an order. Good job. Excellent. Place an order. Next, we have a curry, letter E. Curry. An invoice. Excellent. And letter F, request. Request a catalog. Now, let's practice the verb with the nouns. Letter A, apply for a job. Apply for a job. Arrange, arrange a course. Make, make a complaint. Place, place place an order, curry, curry an invoice, request, request a catalog, excellent. Now, we're going to use these verbs and these nouns for exercise B. For exercise B, we have six doors. The doors represent departments in a company. Now, we're going to match them with the reason for calling. Let's listen to the audio. Ready? I'm going to play the audio, different phone calls, and you choose the correct department. You choose the correct department. 
All right, let's see. Listening six. Call one. I found your company in the phone directory, and I'd like some information about your products. Can I speak to someone about receiving a brochure or catalog, please? Certainly. One moment, I'll put you through. Information about products. She wants information about products. Which department information about products and requesting a catalog? Marketing, training, accounts, sales, or after sales? Human resources is for call number four. Um, I think it'll be marketing. Now let's listen to the next phone call, ready? Call two. Hi, I'm calling in connection with a payment for the last job I did. I still haven't received any money. One moment. Let me just see if someone's available to deal with this. Call three. Calling about money and a job, maybe accounts. Now call three. Call three. Hello. The reason I'm phoning is because of some rewritable CDs that we bought from you. I'm afraid there's something wrong with them. Oh, I'm sorry. You need to speak to my colleague. I'll try his number for you. They bought CDs, so that's buy after sales, after sales department. Let's listen to call number four, which is human resources department. Call four. Oh, hello. It's with regard to the advert for the post of secretarial assistant in today's paper. It says I can get more information on this number about the vacancy. That's right. I'll just connect you to the person in charge of this. He saw the advertisement for the vacancy for a job, so that's human resources. Call four. Now let's go to call five. Call five. Hi, it's about the English lessons which are starting next week. Well, do you know if anyone can attend? Sorry, I don't know anything about it. I'll transfer you to Sylvia. She might know. English lessons. Call so that's training, right? Classes, lessons, training department. Let's listen to call number six. Sylvia, she might know. Call six. Hello, I placed an order with you this morning and I'd like to change something. Sorry, you've come through to the wrong extension. I'll put you back through to reception and they'll be able to connect you. So, that was sales. She had an order. She wants to change something with her sale, with her order. Listen to the six calls. Which department is the call for? Write the call number on the door. So, call number one, marketing department. Call number two, accounts. Call number three, after sales. Call number four, human resources. Number five, training department. And number six, the sales department. Excellent. Now, if your English is really basic and you couldn't do the exercise live in real time with me, it's okay. You have this track six. We got track six in the audio here on the platform so go ahead and find your resources and do this exercise on your own in case that you need to repeat the audio once twice or three times excellent now we're gonna listen to the same audio but we're gonna do a different exercise we're gonna match three words in the table and complete phrases one through six 
from the lessening. Go ahead and look at the chart right here. We have two in is with second part of the chart of the table. We have connection, regard, about, someone, like, because. And the third column, to, of, about, the, to, with. So our job is to make a complete phrase, for example, to someone about. Number one, can I speak to someone about, can I speak to someone about receiving a brochure? That's number one. So number one is done. Now, let's listen to the audio for number two, three, four, five, and six. Are you ready? You can do the exercise in real time with me, and if you think we went a little too fast, stop the video, go to your resources, play the track, track six, and do the exercise at your own rhythm. And if you need to repeat the track once or twice, that's okay. That's why you have the track in your resources. So you can do the audio exercises at your own pace, at your own rhythm. All right, let's do this one together so you can try it at your own rhythm and at your own pace after watching me do it. Ready? It never hurts to practice the exercise twice or three times, especially the listening exercises. Listening six. Call one. I found your company in the phone directory and I'd like some information about your products. Can I speak to someone about receiving a brochure or catalog, please? Certainly. One moment, I'll put you through. Call two. Hi, I'm calling in connection with a payment for the last job I did. I still haven't received any money. One moment. Let me just see if someone's available to deal with this. Call three. Hello. The reason I'm phoning is because of some rewritable CDs that we bought from you. I'm afraid there's something wrong with them. Oh, I'm sorry. You need to speak to my colleague. I'll try his number for you. Call four. Oh, hello. It's with regard to the advert for the post of secretarial assistant in today's paper. It says I can get more information on this number about the vacancy. That's right. I'll just connect you to the person in charge of this. Call five. Hi, it's about the English lessons which are starting next week. Well, do you know if anyone can attend? Sorry, I don't know anything about it. I'll transfer you to Sylvia. She might know. Call six. Hello. I placed an order with you this morning and I'd like to change something. Sorry, you've come through to the wrong extension. I'll put you back through to reception and they'll be able to connect you. Listening six. Uh-oh, I think I got one incorrect with these uh, two. Oh, in connection with. So this one is not correct. Boop. I don't know why I put two. The correct one is with. And we should point this one. Wrong color. Point it right here. Now I'm gonna type the answer in the space given right here. Let's listen again. Ready? Call one. I found your company in the phone directory and I'd like some information about your products. 
Can I speak to someone about receiving a brochure or catalogue, please? Certainly. One moment. I'll put you through. Call two. Hi. I'm calling in connection with a payment for the last job I did. I still haven't received any money. One moment. Let me just see if someone's available to deal with this. Call three. Hello. The reason I'm phoning is because of some rewritable CDs that we bought from you. I'm afraid there's something wrong with them. Oh, I'm sorry. You need to speak to my colleague. I'll try his number for you. Call four. Oh, hello. It's with regard to the advert for the post of secretarial assistant in today's paper. It says I can get more information on this number about the vacancy. That's right. Oh, I'm sorry. You need to... Hello. It's with regard to the advert for the post of secretarial assistant in today's paper. It says I can get more information on this number about the vacancy. That's right. I'll just connect you to the person in charge of this. Call five. Hi, it's about the English lessons which are starting next week. Well, do you know if anyone can attend? Sorry, I don't know anything about it. I'll transfer you to Sylvia. She might know. Call six. Hello, I placed an order with you this morning and I'd like to change something. Sorry, you've come through to the wrong extension. I'll put you back through to reception and they'll be able to connect you. All right, excellent job. Now, listen again and check your answers. Go ahead and you can get the track, the audio from your resources and get the PDF. And on your own time, listen again and check your answers. Now, study this grammar summary and decide if 1 th uh, through 10 are correct or incorrect. So let's go over this table right here. We have a couple of grammar formulas. So let's look at it together. When you use the phrase can I speak to someone about? Can I speak to someone about? You have two choices. It can be about a noun. We know nouns cover a lot of things, cover everything. For example, objects like a cell phone or a computer. People like a doctor or a secretary. Places, like a beach or an office. Ideas, like an opportunity. And concepts, like happiness. When you use this phrase to give the reason for calling, can I speak to someone about... You can choose a noun. It can be about a noun. Or... It can be about a birth with ing. For example, it can be about ordering. It could be about placing. It could be about buying. Any birth with ing. And we have the same option for the following phrases. I'm calling about. It's with regard to. It's about. So why? Why are you calling? The reason for calling. It's about a noun or birth ing. It's with regard to noun, verb ing. I'm calling about noun, verb ing. Can I speak to someone about noun or verb ing? Two options, nouns 
and verbs with ing. For this next phrase, I'm phoning because of, the only option would be nouns. Only one option, nouns. I'm phoning because of, of an object, a person, a place, an idea, or a concept. And for the following two phrases that finish with two, we can only use the infinitive verb. So just a regular verb, just a verb. No ing or anything like that. So now you tell me if this is correct. Let's look. The phrase would be, is there someone I can speak to about applying for the course? About verb ing. So that's correct. There's someone on the line calling about the new job. About the new job. That's a noun. The new job. So that is correct. I'm calling arrange a meeting. Look, we don't have about or to. And this is a regular verb. So this is not correct. I'm calling right here. We need about or to. So that's incorrect. Remember, for a regular verb, like this one, arrange, we need two. I don't see two in number three. So it's incorrect. Number four, it's with regard to, it's with regard, it's with regard to, noun, or birth with ing. We need a noun or a birth with ing. Place in order. Place. Mm, incorrect. We need placing. We need ing right here. Or a noun. And place is a birth. So this is incorrect. It's about Natalie, I'm afraid. Natalie is a person. It's about noun, that's okay. People are nouns, so this one is fine. Excellent. I'm phoning because of requesting a brochure. I'm phoning because of Okay, we need a noun. I'm phoning because of <gasps> birth ing requesting. That's incorrect. The only option is nouns. So that would be incorrect in this case. I like speaking to someone about the project. I like speaking. Hmm. I like speaking to someone about to someone about noun. The project is a noun? Yeah, ideas or concepts. Excellent. So this is correct. I'd like to have a chat. I would like to have. 
have. Birth. I like to birth. So this is correct. Number nine, I'm phoning to ask for a catalog. I'm phoning to, right here, birth. We need a birth. I'm phoning to ask. Yes, that's a birth. Excellent. So that's correct. It's with regard to, it's with regard to, we need noun or verb ing. You request, that's a noun, one request, excellent. So, incorrect, number three, number four, incorrect, and number six, too. Make sure you check number three, number four, and number six with your table with the formulas up here and understand why number three, number four, and number six is incorrect. Now, sometimes the person who answers has to connect the caller to another person, transfer. Underline the correct word in italics in these phrases for connecting the caller. So we got two options. This is vocabulary to do a transfer, to connect the caller. Let's listen for the correct answers. So in this exercise, your job is to catch the correct word. We're going to listen and you catch the correct word. Ready? Listening six. Call one. I found your company in the phone directory and I'd like some information about your products. Can I speak to someone about receiving a brochure or catalog, please? Certainly. One moment. I'll put you through. Put. Call two. Put. Hi, I'm calling in connection with a payment for the last job I did. I still haven't received any money. One moment. Let me just see if someone's available to deal with this. Deal. Call three. Hello. The reason I'm phoning is because of some rewritable CDs that we bought from you. I'm afraid there's something wrong with them. Oh, I'm sorry. You need to speak to my colleague. I'll try his number for you. Try. Call four. Oh, hello. It's with regard to the advert for the post of secretarial assistant in today's paper. It says I can get more information on this number about the vacancy. That's right. I'll just connect you to the person in charge of this. Connect. Call five. Hi. It's about the English lessons which are starting next week. Well... Do you know if anyone can attend? Sorry, I don't know anything about it. I'll transfer you to Sylvia. She might know. Transfer. Call six. Hello. I placed an order with you this morning and I'd like to change something. Sorry, you've come through to the wrong extension. I'll put you back through to reception and they'll be able to connect you. Back. All right, so we have our answers. Number one, put. Number two, deal. Number three, try. Number four, connect. Number five, transfer. And number six, back. Check your answers. Listen to the track again. You can find it in your resources. Now, for exercise F. Exercise F Imagine that you see an advertisement in the local newspaper and you want to apply an advertisement for a job. Read one through four and what do you say? So, number one, you have to give your reason for calling. Number two, say your name. 
Number three, give your reason for calling. And number four, give your reason for calling. All right, we're going to play the audio. Remember, you participate after the beep. If you want, organize your ideas in writing. So we're going to do it in writing, and I'm also going to do it orally. So listen and check out my answers. Listen and respond. And then there's an example after the tone. Make sure your answer is similar to the answer that we have after the tone. Okay? Listen. Listening seven. One. Hello, AIC Computing. How can I help you? I'm calling about the I'm advertisement. In connection with the job advert in the paper. Two. One moment. Can I have your name, please? My name is Jonathan. It's Ray Graham. One moment. I'll put you through to Human Resources. Three. Hello, Human Resources. Hi, I'm calling about the advertisement in the paper. Hello, I'd like to apply for the job in today's paper. I'll just connect you to the person in charge of this. Four. Hello, job applications. Hi, I would like to apply for the vacancy in today's papers. Hello, I'm calling about applying for the job in today's paper. Listening seven. Let's listen to it again. One. Hello, AIC Computing. How can I help you? Hi, I'm calling about the advertisement in the local newspaper. I'm calling in connection with the job advert in the paper. Two. One moment. Can I have your name, please? It's Jonathan. It's Ray Graham. One moment. I'll put you through to Human Resources. Three. Hello, Human Resources. I'm calling about the ad in Hello. the paper. I'd like to apply for the job in today's paper. I'll just connect you to the person in charge of this. Four. Hello, job applications. I would, oh, like. Hello, I'm calling about applying for the job in today's paper. So now that you saw me do the exercise, you can try the exercise on your own, at your own pace, at your own rhythm. I recommend pausing, make sure you stop the audio before the tone, so you can organize your ideas and have a response in your notebook and then practice your response orally. Today's exercise has to do with the reason for calling and giving your name was in the other class, remember? Excellent. All right. Fantastic. Fantastic.